Hello friends, welcome to the DJ Voice channel. You all have come here with the latest and important updates. So the friend will watch the video till the end. And if you are new to the channel, then you must subscribe to the channel. You will subscribe and click on the bell option given. Along with it, the UK government's plans to send asylum seekers to Rwanda had generated controversy even before the former Home Secretary Preeti Patel signed a deal with the East African country in April last year. Sealing the deal, ministers claimed the plan would deter people from making the dangerous journey across the channel on small boats on Monday. A case examining the legality of the policy reaches the UK's highest court, the Supreme Court. The political stakes for ministers are high but the asylum seekers threatened with being forcibly removed to Rwanda say their lives are at stake is the policy is G R E E N L I T dot what is the Supreme Court case about the High Court found the Rwanda policy lawful in December last year but in June this year the Court of Appeal subsequently found it to be unlawful by a majority of two to one the Home Office is appealing against that ruling its lawyers are arguing that the Court of Appeal was wrong to conclude that removal to Rwanda would breach Article 3 of the European Convention on Human Rights, which prohibits torture and inhuman or degrading treatment. They say the UK government's agreement with Rwanda contains assurances that asylum seekers would be treated properly. There are also appeals by some of the asylum seekers threatened with deportation to Rwanda who argue that the Home Secretary failed to look properly at Rwanda's procedures and whether there was a risk of ill-treatment there or refoulement being forcibly returned to their home country where their life might be at risk. How many asylum seekers will be sent to Rwanda? There have been conflicting reports. Initially a figure of a few hundred people was float. Then the government said there was no ceiling on numbers. In undercover filming carried out by the campaign group led by Donkeys, the Rwandan ambassador to the UK, Johnston Bissingi, said up to 5,000 people could be sent, but immigration detention centres do not have capacity to detain tens of thousands of asylum seekers, and most airlines have refused to fly asylum seekers to Rwanda. Earlier this year, the government's air partner, Air Tanker, told The Guardian, Air Tanker has no intention of operating deportation flights to Rwanda. So friend, this was some latest and important update, which was very important to share with you guys. Hope you like our latest updates today. See you in next update. Till then give us permission. Thanks for watching.